So yesterday, I unboxed my last birthday gift, which was the Fountains of Wayne vinyl record for Welcome Interstate Managers. And the last week, two weeks ago, I don't know, I, I, I made a video about how I record my vinyl records from my turntable, but I lamented that the turntable was downstairs in a weird spot, and the cat is always very curious about what's going on. So I wanna move this upstairs. I think now's the time to do it, especially because I wanna listen to that new record, and I don't want the cat goofing it up. Look, I'm, I'm just here next to it, and he thinks, oh, you're here to pet me, not, oh, I'm." he's going to put on very delicate music that I could get my hair all over and cause issues. Oh, it looks so empty in here without the record player. What should I put in here next to the Apple TV, huh, cat? Huh? Oh, you don't like it when I have the flash on? This cat acts like I never give him attention, but I gave him like solid attention for a half hour just before this and now he wants more pets. So now I'm gonna take the record player, my analog switcher, these RCA cables. Oh, and my record cleaning stuff upstairs. Welcome to my office. If you've watched the vlog, you know what this space is. You've been here with me before, but this is where I want to put my record player. I've got some, I've got some boxes for some games. I got my Charl plush. I have the mouse that controls the side mic. I can just put that down here. And I've got the new record, but I also have my, my other birthday present up here. I have my, I don't know where I'm gonna put Charl. I guess Charl can hang out down here. I have my Indiana Jones, it's Rick from The Mummy, fan fiction mock-up poster that I need to hang, maybe next to my cat's posters. I don't know, but I do wanna get this frame. This was, this is cool, this is nice. Uh, so I do wanna do something nice with this. Uh, where do I put this for now? You can hang out up here with Baby Yoda. I'm gonna put it this way so it doesn't get dusty. And then I also need to figure out what to do with my little posy people. They're actually kind of holding up the cable for the little light bulbs here that uh, I should probably do something here. I'd love to get some Aperture B7Cs so I can control the color of them. Um, and I'll put take those games boxes and put them with the other game boxes. But all right, I think I can make this fit up there. And hopefully I, don't, hopefully I don't have to move my posing dudes. Also, this is the Bose speaker I'm going to plug the record player into, the turntable into. Uh, so the analog switch will be nice because there's just one aux cable in the back of it. I've got the iPod mini plugged into it and I sometimes plug in the electric drum set into it. Um, I, th I think it sounds good. I've got the remote for it, still works, I think. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna put that analog switch on it, although I'll have to convert all the RCA stuff to 3.5 mil stuff, but then I can just switch drum set, iPod mini, record player, all easily. <laughs> the cable built into the turntable is just a little too short. So I've got an RCA extension that's like six feet. So I've just got to keep it nice and tight so that I can extend just to the little switcher right here. Dang it. Oh, that's so pretty. I should have opened this up more yesterday. Okay, here we go. First test. Wow, it's working. All right. Okay, so input two, I made the record player. Input one is the iPod, and that's got a lot more output. That's louder. And then input three is the drum set. So 
So now I can just switch between all of my sound inputs. And listen to whatever I want in my office. And I usually don't let the cat in here. All right, got my vinyl record player set up in my office in a spot that I think I'm actually gonna use it more. I don't know why I like vinyl. Is it the tea ceremony? The act of picking up this disc, flipping it over and dropping a needle on it? It doesn't actually sound better. Yeah, it sounds warmer, but sometimes, you know, these, these albums are made from crappy MP3s that I'm already listening to on iTunes or Spotify or Apple Music or whatever. And I'm playing it through a Bose speaker that has a lot of influence on how the final sound is interpreted. So it's goofy, but I like it. So that's why I do it. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Sure.